All right, today, uh, this video, uh, there's some small bass around, so uh, I got here a little bit early to do this video. I just wanted to talk quickly about what I've been working mostly this year. I think there's slight changes and stuff on how you work the surf, but this is going to be about uh, what I've been working uh, the fall of 2020, uh, surf, striped bass, and bluefish too, if they come through, uh, surf fishing lures. So let's get to it, and let's start with number five. We're going to work our way up to number one. If you haven't been watching the channel, uh, you should know what number one is if you have been watching the channel so all right let's get to it all right today uh the top five uh the top five uh surf fall fishing lures for 2020 at least what i've been fishing is i'm gonna call it no, number five the ava the ava uh a17 or a27 jig tube tail jig for striped bass or bluefish uh, 2020 coming in at number five is going to be the A17 or A27. Great lure, great to work in heavy current. Um, I like to work these in the day and uh, generally to get going started and breaking that reel. But coming in at number five, I'm going to call it the A17 or A27 uh, tube tail jig, uh, diamond jig. I'll work a 27 in heavier current and a 17 in lighter current. And you can even go 007, but at number five, full surf strike fishing lures is going to be the tube tail jig. I would like to add briefly, this is just what I work. It's kind of a disclaimer. I think uh, this time of year, the bass are on a hard, fast bite, and they'll grab a lot of things. Um, just have fun out there. Throw what you want. Catch, you know, do what you want, and fish your way. All right, let's get to it. Boy, it's a windy one out here today. So coming in at number four, number four, Fall surf striped fish and lures for striped bass and bluefish if they're around. I'm going to call it the needlefish. Um, I certainly will carry two. I'm going to call number four for striped bass surf fish and lures is the needlefish. Um, I like to carry at least two, definitely a lot more if I'm fishing them exclusively. Uh, a lighter and a heavier. A lighter to work higher up in slower current or to work uh, slower current. Uh, to work down or hev heavier current work up and a heavier needle uh, for uh, swifter or deeper water uh, a little more to it but I'm gonna call that number four surf strike fishing lures is the needlefish for me I would like to add briefly this is just what I work it's kind of a disclaimer I think uh, this time of year the bass are on a hard fast bite and they'll grab a lot of things um, just have fun out there throw what you want catch you know, do what you want and fish your way. All right, let's get to it. Coming in at number three, full surf stripe fishing lures for 2020 for bluefish and stripers. I would have to call the, uh, I've been using the Rapala minnow as per minnows. Um, so I'm gonna call the Rapala minnow, the Rap X in at number three. Uh, I like to work a few different sizes. Certainly uh, on the inside, lighter current, I'm going to work the number 10 for heavier current in the surf. This is the number 12. Uh, I will work the number 10 as well. It's a smaller, smaller minnow. Uh, for the heavier surf, um, uh, swifter current, uh, bigger profile, I'm going to work the, the number 14, uh, the Rappel or Rapex swimming minnow. Um, better than an SP minnow? I don't know. Could be, could be not. But uh, I've been using them a lot this year, um, and I've used them in the past. So I'm going to call that number number three full surf stripe fishing lure is the Rapala minnow. I would like to add briefly, this is just what I work. It's kind of a disclaimer. I think uh, this time of year the bass are on a hard, fast bite, and they'll grab a lot of things. Um, just have fun out there, throw what you want, catch, you know, do what you want, and fish your way. All right, let's get to it. So we're coming in close now. We're at number two. And number two, full surf stripe fishing, uh, stripe bass surf fishing lure for 2020 and bluefish too if they're around, is I'm gonna have to go with the bucktail with the felt trail trailer. Um, on the surf, I generally like to just carry, I'll carry a few different sizes. I don't work these exclusively, but I will carry a one ounce and a one and a half ounce uh, in my bag if I, am going to be using them on the surf. A uh, swifter, heavier, driving surf, you might want to go two, two and a half ounce, but I generally will be throwing different things for that. 
uh, in uh, generally calmer waters, um, I like to carry either a 5 8 ounce or a half ounce you can use or a 3 quarter ounce uh, a Smiling Billy style head and uh, Spro style head in the surf. You can use any, you know, uh, type of head you want. But at coming in at number two, full striped bass and bluefish too, sir, fishing lures, is the bucktail minnow. I would like to add briefly, this is just what I work. It's kind of a disclaimer. I think uh, this time of year, the bass are on a hard, fast bite, and they'll grab a lot of things. Um, just have fun out there. Throw what you want. Catch, you know, do what you want, and fish your way. All right, let's get to it. All right, we're up to number one. Number one, and if you have not guessed it, if you have not been watching the channel, or this is your first time watching the channel, my number one, full surf striped bass, surf fishing lure for 2020. Of course, it's gonna be the surf fishing teaser. Um, I like to carry darks at night, lights in the day, and uh, generally I will exclusively been working them on 3-0 hooks. Uh, they're between six, six five to seven inches long uh, again dark colors at night and this is my number one lure the surf fishing teaser it will take big fish it will take small fish it will take a lot of fish um, just an extremely effective lure to surf so my number one full surf striped fishing lure is going to be the surf fishing the striped bass surf fishing teaser for striped bass and fishing 